Cheers everyone, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Right, the beer we got coming up is another one of them beer merchants, glass fiasco ones. Bad for them, good for me. And the beer is from a brewery that I have had beers from before and I think I have reviewed one or two of their stuff. And I believe they're out of Estonia. To be honest, I can't quite remember, but I'm certain they are. And we have a beer from Pohala. And this is a can of their Moonraker number five. And this is a Galaxy and Azaka double dry hopped IPA. It's coming in at a big old 6.7%. So you don't want too many of these in one sitting. Uh, like I say, from the beer merchant thing, God knows what it would have cost you to buy if you'd actually bought the can. Uh, this one coming at 35 pence for me, stroke of luck. So I was a winner there. And as I've said about all the other beers, most of them have been past their best before date. This one happens to be the 20th of the 10th, 22. So this one is still in date. Uh, lovely artwork, I do like that. I can't help but look at it and think of Channel 5. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> glasses at the ready. Let's get the can open, get the beer in there and see what we get. 6.7%, 440ml can, don't know if I said that. I know I said the 6.7. So, let's get the beer in the glass. I've got one more beer to do now, uh, out of the 15. It's from Evil Twin Brewing, and that's an IPA coming in at 7%. So no doubt that'll come up sometime, maybe tomorrow, but I'm not gonna count on that. Because old Baz has got darts tomorrow. I don't think I wanna be starting the night on a 7% beer, do I? I'm bad enough at darts as it is, never mind. <laughs> never mind whether 7% are down me to start off with. So it's yet another one. I've done quite a few IPAs lately and they've all looked like this. They've all sort of looked like chicken stock kind of custard kind of thing going on. We've got a bright sort of orangey, yellow, hazy beer, if you like. A finger of fluffy white head on top. Uh, there's a few bubbles going up the side of the glass. Again, I've done a few of these, so I'm sort of repeating myself a little bit. So... Let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. I don't know if it's got oats in it, but it's kind of got that oaty feel on the nose. Hoppy, a bit fruity. I mean, it's, <laughs> like I said, because I've done so many, it's all smelling the same for the beers that I've done, you know, lately. But yeah, it's, it's, it smells like a nice enough IPA. Fruity. An oppy. <laughs> Stop talking rubbish. Let's dive in and give it a go. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Okay. It's in date. I'm going to have to think about the flavours after, which I will. The first thing that hit me with that, the body on this beer, is absolutely fantastic. Like the last one that I've reviewed, which was from Double Barreled. A really thick, heavy body. The Double Barreled one sort of felt lighter when you were drinking it, though. This one's still got that lovely sort of heavy feel as you're drinking. Glides down the old throat. Mm. Beautiful carbonation. Unlike the double barrel that I'd done, <clears throat> whereas I felt the carbonation ruin the mouthfeel uh, on that one. This one it doesn't. Really smooth, really soft. We'll go in and get some taste for you now. The obvious, hoppy. But for me, you're getting peach, passion fruit, pineapple. No sort of grapefruit, I wouldn't say in there. Maybe a little bit of mango, maybe. As you drink it, starts off quite sweet and and literally 
just after after you've swallowed a, a real gentle sort of bitterness on the back end nothing really massive or anything to write home about I do feel you get a little bit of a a malty backbone to this. Feels like there's just like a little malty piece, malty bit going on in the back. 6.7% really is nowhere in all honesty. It really is. There's, there's nothing really for me that would indicate this is 6.7%. Like I said, that last one that I've done the double barreled. sort of felt it but this is smoothie like let's put it that way but it, it's not big on sort of smoothie drink if you like but it's smoothie like that's what I'm saying and I'm just trying to describe it almost doesn't feel like a beer let's put it that way uh, but yeah it's a really nice beer really nice beer again IPAs it, it's the style of beer that's everywhere and certainly as doing the reviews, I, I seem to drink loads and loads and loads of these IPAs. So, I mean, it's it's really decent. It's I'm not, it's not run of the mill, but it's it's just another good IPA. Uh, so for me, Pohala's Moonraker Number no. Five Galaxy and a Zaka Double Dry Hops IPA. Uh, yeah, it's it's a decent beer. Uh, would I pick it up again? I mean, it's what, like I said, so many IPAs about, you've got a choice of anything, haven't you, really? So, I mean, it's certainly one I wouldn't avoid. It's not, you know, if I, if I went somewhere and they had stuff I didn't really fancy, but had this, I'd drink it. So, uh, yeah, gets the thumbs up for me, uh, or from me, I should say this. If you see it, give it a go, especially if you like your IPAs. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm just going to end it there. I'm not even going to do any of that malarkey. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.